Hello and welcome to Turner Time Tutorials. This video is on how to use iBooks on your iPad. When iPads first came out, iBooks was pre-installed on all iPads. With the recent release of the new iPads, iBooks is no longer pre-installed on your iPad. Simply go into the App Store and search for iBooks by Apple and download it for free onto your iPad. iBooks can be a great place to store not only books, but PDFs that you may use for business. So the easiest way to get a PDF onto your iPad is to email it to yourself. So I've emailed myself a PDF that I need for business for a customer. So I'm going to go into email and I'm going to open up that email message. You'll be able to see at the bottom that there is an attachment and this happens to be a PDF. Anytime you see an attachment in an email, if it's outlined in a dotted line, that means it hasn't been downloaded to your iPad yet. Simply tap on the item, it'll take a minute to process, and it'll download onto your iPad. Once the outline is solid, simply tap and hold to bring up the menu. Anything that you can open this PDF in is displayed. I'm going to open mine in iBooks, so I'm going to tap the first menu option for iBooks. It's going to take a second, it's going to take me to iBooks, and it's going to open up that particular PDF. So when viewing a PDF in iBooks, there's a menu at the top. If you don't see the menu, simply tap and hold anywhere at the top of the PDF to bring up this menu bar at the top. So let's start from the right hand side. This is a bookmark option. If you tap it, you can bookmark that specific page, make it easy to find. To turn off the bookmark, tap it again. You can search inside of a PDF. You can change the brightness by tapping the brightness and using the slider to make it dimmer or brighter. We can share the PDF and our two options are email or print if you're connected with the printer. The list button is going to show you the table of contents. It's going to show you all the different pages in the PDF. This is only a five page PDF but I can quickly advance to the last page in the PDF by looking at the list view. So now let's see what else I have in iBooks. So let's top left corner tap library and it's going to show me my library of PDFs. The menu bar at the top shows store which will take us quickly to the iBook store and allow us to search for and download titles. I'm going to tap library. It takes me back into my iBooks library. If you tap on collections Everything that you download to iBooks is automatically assigned to one of three categories. Books, purchased books, or PDFs. If somebody emails you a copy of a book, it'll be in books. If you buy one from the store, it's in purchased books. And all other PDFs go into the PDF category. You can see here that there's an additional, an additional collection that I've created myself called Pricing. To create a new collection, simply tap New and type in the name for the new collection. I'm going to tap Personal and I'm going to tap Done. To move items between collections is quite easy. So let's say I want to move some things into my personal collection. I'm in PDFs right now. So I'm going to tap Edit in the top right corner. I'm going to tap on the items I want to move into a new collection. Top left corner gives you the option now to delete or move. I'm going to tap Move. It's going to show me a list of collections. I'm going to tap Personal. And those are moved and it automatically opens up my personal collection. So iBooks is a great free app that you can use to store books or PDFs that you may use for personal or business use. If you have any questions, please email info at getturnertime.com. Thanks for watching and have a productive day.